Hi, it is now time for your writing assignment. Um, yes, we've gotten to that point. We finished all the grammar assignments for this quarter. And now you just have your four parts of your writing assignment and your exam review. And those are the only things left on your accumulative. Let's get into this. Um, write a fictional story. Now, the first story this quarter was supposed to be a story from your own life or something that you know is a true story. Um, some people actually wrote fictional stories for that and I didn't count it against them. Um, but now we are doing a fictional story. Um, write a made up story about a tough decision. Somebody has to make a tough decision. And these are just to review something that I think you should know by now from literature class. Um, that the main things in a story are characters, setting, and plot. The characters are the people. The main character is the person that the story is about. Um, the setting is the time and place and situation of a story. So like, let's say it happened um, out in the wild, wild west in the 1700s, no, 1800s in the United States. Uh, and the situation is that with the pioneers, okay? That would be uh, one example of a setting. Um, and a plot is the, actually what happens and then what happens and then what happens. You should know by now that a plot should have um, a beginning where you find out something to get you interested in the story, something about the main character, the setting, stuff like that. And then something happens that gets the story started and that is what starts the conflict in a story and what happens after that is driven by that conflict. The conflict can be um, interpersonal between the main character and someone else it can be um, between the main character and nature. Um, so like trying to survive in a desert or something. Um, but our, our plot conflict is going to be an inner conflict inside the person having to make a certain decision and act on it. Okay, so um, the pre-writing here is going to be this. Use your imagination and answer these questions. Number one, who will be your main character and what is a strength he or she has? Also, what is a weakness? And so in the example that I'm going to attach, the main character is a seventh grade girl and she's friendly, that's a strength, but a weakness that she has is that she can be a little bit shy or hesitant to talk to people that she doesn't know super well. Um, and so that's the kind of thing that you're supposed to write on number one. It doesn't have to be a super long thing about the character, just something like that. Number two, your character's weaknesses, your character's main weakness, okay, that you're gonna talk about. We all have a lot of weaknesses, but this weakness is going to be something that will make a decision hard. So that's the weakness where, that you wanna put on number one. What is the decision that, that you're gonna have to make? And so in the, in the example that I'm going to attach, um, this seventh grade girl who is friendly but shy is going to have to make the decision to talk to a boy that she likes. <laughs> okay, so is she going to make that decision? Is she not? Kind of thing. Or she is going to make the decision, but is she going to talk to him or is she not? Uh, number three, make a sensory chart for your setting. And so I will attach an example that goes with the the story that I'm going to attach. Uh, but you should have probably at least two things under each under each heading. See something that you can see in your setting, hear, smell, taste, and feel. And this should give you an, a, a mental idea of what it's like for that main character in that setting. Okay, so back to my Wild Wild West idea you might see a lot of dust and sand. You might see horses and carriages. Um, you might hear the sound of a lot of people walking and talking to each other. You might hear um, the sound of hoof beats. Um, you might smell just that smell of dust. 
you, might, you might smell horse poop. Uh, you might taste uh, really dark black coffee in the morning. You might taste the taste of dust again in your mouth. You might feel dirty. You might feel tired, okay? So those are some things that you can uh, that you could put under the that if your setting were, were the wild wild west. I'm sure your, your setting is probably not going to be the wild west. But anyway, remember the setting is the time, place, and situation. So in this setting, um, as you will hear, I'll read the story to you and then I will attach it. Um, this story takes place at a school dance. Now I don't I have not heard much about dances happening in with schools in Honduras, but in the States, it's pretty common that a few times a year there will be a dance, and it's a time when they hire a DJ or a band, and all the kids go, and there's usually punch and cookies or something like that, and there's teachers as chaperones that watching to make sure nobody gets into trouble, and, um, and so it's supposed to be fun and everybody, every, but everybody's kind of afraid to ask each other to dance and you want to meet a boy or you want to meet a girl, you know, kind of thing. Um, so that's the kind of situation that this character finds herself in. Um, so answer these questions for the pre-writing. For the rough draft, write a story with a beginning, rising action, climax, and ending. The length should be around 200 to 300 words, 200 word minimum, let's say. Um, skip lines in your, in your rough draft. Include a description uh, of some kind. You don't have to have a super detailed description, but you should describe some things or some people in some way. Use adjectives. Use, yeah, sensory details. Um, remember your chart. And, and use a little bit of dialogue. That means at least two people should say something in your story. Your rough draft grade is going to be, number one, did you write the minimum 200 words? Number two, did you skip lines? Number three, um, did you use some kind of description? And number four, did you use dialogue? We'll work on punctuating the dialogue correctly once we get there, but let's just get this rough draft done. So first do your pre-writing and then do your rough draft, okay? Again, that's the order it goes in. Don't, don't put the rough draft under the pre-writing heading because that's not where it goes. The pre-writing is just your answers to these questions. The rough draft goes under the rough draft heading. Okay, if you don't see the rough draft assignment yet, that means it's not time to do it yet. You need to do your pre-writing next, okay? I think that's all I have to say about this. Please let your imagination, oh, you know what? There's something else. So if you have trouble coming up with an idea, okay, what I want you to do is imagine a situation. Like I just described the Wild Wild West or I just described a junior high dance. Um, imagine some kind of situation. Imagine a character, put the character in the situation in your mind, okay? And then um, knowing the weakness of this character um, let's just see what happens in the story to activate that weakness, okay? And to maybe activate the strength to overcome that weakness. Let the film play in your mind and write down what you see inside your mind. Maybe that will help you. Um, that's actually an idea that I got from a book by Stephen King on how he writes stories. And he's pretty successful, so I think that might help you. Happy writing!